Rabbi Hello. Okay. My name is uh, Sir Schneider. I want to talk about life. I think most people, if you ask them, uh, do they want to live a sweet life? They'll say yes. Some crazy people want to fight. That's what they live for. They pray every morning, Hashem, please help me find somebody to fight with today. Okay. Yeah, Mr. Goy. But uh, normal no, people uh, Israel, want to live a sweet life. Israel. Question? Yeah. Astrologically, you can see people. The Rebbe says some people get used for a May Manucha, and some people get used for a May Mariva. You it, should may, you've been saying that to me many times. It's Rabbeinu Nachman. Rabbeinu says it. What? The Rebbe says it. Okay, you say the Rebbe says. We'll talk about it, but let's leave that aside in a while. <laughs> what do I say? You argue that the Rebbe doesn't. You want to fight? You want to fight with me? You want to send hands to your prayer? You haven't fought with anybody yet today, so you want to fight with me? Can Let's leave it aside me while I'm talking about something else right now. I'm talking about sweetness. Do you believe in something called sweetness, Atamami? Yes. Okay, so let's talk about it a little bit. Believe that we'll get back to the main reason. Believe that. Okay. So, we want to live a sweet life. The question is, how do we do this? So, let's talk about two ways. One way is called Toiva. Nochemish Gamzu said, Gamzu the Toiva. He was a man without hands, without feet. He couldn't pick up anything. He couldn't move. He was lying in a bed. His body was covered with sores. He was suffering. And he said, Gamzu the Toiva. Now the question is, why didn't that one really say this? Nochemish Gamzu lived in the, it was the Rebbe of the Kiva. It's after the Chumran in the second base in English. It took so long for somebody to come up with Gums of the Taiva? Okay, that's a question. But he said it, Gums of the Taiva. And his family, the Beachiva said, Kol Ma David Rahmana, the top of it, right? The story of Nachamish Gums is in Masechus Tainis. The story of Beachiva is in Masechus Brachas. The Shukhanach, sorry, I don't remember the Simon and the Seed. It says, it's supposed to say, Komasha Sakosh Bocha, call it Taiva. It's a sitting in the Shukhanak. If something happened to you, somebody walked away with my son's uh, telephone the other day, you have to say, you don't make a Bocha, you don't make a Bocha Boch, she goes on the telephone, but uh, it's supposed to say, the Shukhanak says, it's supposed to say, Komasha Sakosh Okay. So, if somebody actually believes this, I to believe this, and tries to live in such a way, many stories, let's tell one story about another one, Rebbe Chaim Mordechai Rosenbaum. He had a son, I think his son was named Yaakov Yisachar, if I remember correctly, I knew him a little bit, the Rebbe of Nadvon in Bnei Bra. So when he was a young boy, this is happening after the uh, Shoah, I don't know exactly where they're living, I think somewhere in Romania, so Yaakov Yisachar decides he's going to Palestine, what was then called Palestine, to learn in the Yeshiva of Tashinsky. Now the question is, he couldn't, he couldn't learn with his father? Was Lord already? Maybe his father was busy, maybe he wanted to hear Shurim to pull him, which is far. Uh, I'm sure his father was a tremendous tzaddik, but I don't know if he could say he couldn't pull him. He wanted to hear him to pull him around Tashinsky. Okay. He went to Israel. He had a brother, Yitzhak Isaac a few years younger than him. After a while, he also wants to go to be with his brother by Rav Dushinsky. He goes, he's on a boat with the Mahpilim. The British uh, stop the boat. He go on the boat, he's fighting. It's a guy that gets killed. He gets shot. Uh, a British soldier shoots him. He's buried in Haifa. Every year, the Nazvon Rebbe used to go to his brother's grave. Now, when this was told... Uh, could be, I'm mixing up the story a little bit, but uh, if somebody knows the story better than me, let him correct me. When the story reaches the uh, uh, the Nedvoni Rebbe, the son, it's a guy who was killed, he said, if I would have said one krech, I would have lost my name above. One krech! Why did this happen? Why did his older son go to... He couldn't stay with his father? His father came eventually to her to serve. He to, the older son had to go running off to Abdushinsky, and the brother goes running after him and gets killed? Yeah, there's something to talk about. 
If you would have given one correct, you said I would have lost my other my ball. No. A person who's on the Madrid of Nachum Mishkamzer doesn't give a crack. Not only doesn't give a crack, he says, Dam Zulu Tzpeva. Like it says, the Madrid clear that we're living on Kedor La'ima. What's Kedor La'ima? Oh, the Tzpeva, the Tzpeva, Amar, Kedor La'ima. Okay. So that's the Madrid. Now, let's see what the Chavetz Chaim, the Chavetz Chaim, son of Ram, wanted to learn in the village, and he couldn't stay in the Chavetz Chaim's house. Israel. He couldn't write down the Sikhs of the Chavat Chaim. Every time he would have a paper, the Sikhs of the Chavat Chaim by his son, Rabbi Vam Kagan. No, he doesn't run off to Baloji. Uh, the Nitzvah says to him, he's making Kiddush Lebani, he doesn't stand with his feet together, he says, the Sikhs of the Chavat Chaim, the Sikhs of the Chavat Chaim, the Sikhs of the Chavat Chaim, the one plus one equals two. It's in the yeshiva, uh, teaching the uh, Chacham Yisrael Tainim. So the yeshiva is closed down. Uh, Avram Kagan goes home. He catches uh, pneumonia. He gets sick. He was sick for many years. He suffered during his sickness. And the Chavetz Chaim went running with him to doctors all over the place, putting out tremendous money. And he died. And the Chavetz Chaim said, I take all the love that I have they have for my son Avram, and I give it to the Banyu Shlelem. They have to say, Shem Elekecha B'chol Abav Chol Chol Nashu Chumit Decha B'chol Mido Mido Shum Maid B'cha Havei Maid 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 Okay, that's the one Madrega Alavai, Alavai, we should come a little bit to Madrega that we should believe that everything is with Toivah, that Hashem is running the world, nothing, nobody can harm me. Whatever happens to me is with Tevasi, that's oh, living a sweet life. Yeah, Pollyanna. Pollyanna, the English uh, Pollyanna. I looked today in the internet in Pollyanna. I ain't sure. It's interesting. Pollyanna, how is she? How is she? Okay. Uh, uh, Rob Schneider. One way. Rob the Schneider. Way of, uh, the toy. But there's a second way. Because we've seen the Gemara. The Gemara says that Sama is to Kusa, right? The, you should, if you're a person, you person gets to say, to be quiet, what? Well, to be quiet? He's supposed to, he's supposed to, uh, praise Hashem, no? No, there's another way. An easier way. If somebody is not in the Madriga, they can jump up and down and thank Hashem, you know, that somebody stole his telephone. But, uh, what's the second way? The second way is mystic reality. And it is. The Matthias says that we live in a broken world. There he says. There's Shriya Sakaila. Okay, the question is, why did Hashem make Shriya Sakaila? Why did he do it? So he thought that was him. Hashem was with Tom to himself. He said, I won't make a perfect world. I'll make a very, very imperfect world. There'll be Shriya Sakaila. Right? You ever say it's hard to give an age to somebody? Because the time he sees the future, but uh, but, uh, but whatever age he gives, there'll be there's something bad will happen, right? That's Murphy's law. Whatever can go wrong will go wrong, but it's it's not the mikre. It's mik, it's Murphy's law in transcendence. So this is the way I can hate the world for some reason that has to be shvir sakei. The manavi cleared it. This world is the reason for it. No, it's retain Hashem. We don't know. We're not saying it's the toy, but that's the first matrika. You don't have to say it's the toy, but you have to say if you want to be a good Jew and live a sweet life. This is the retain Hashem. Shtika. Shtika means, I'm a Kabbalist. This is the same Hashem. This comes from the Shreya Sakaidim, from the Chet Aramamisham, from the, from the, from the Chet Aegel. Moshe Rabbeinu, when he went up to the Hasin after 40 days, did he know there was going to be a Chet Aegel? Maybe he knew. He knew that uh, everything could, can go wrong, wrong. And they'll make a mistake, and the Satan will show them that, I'm, that I died, and Aaron will make, uh, uh, will throw the thing into the fire, are they sure? And, uh, Maybe no one was going to happen. But he couldn't do anything about it. And he wasn't allowed to do anything about it because what I, he has to be. So, uh, boys, uh, you know, let's be happy with everything and jump out, up and down for joy. And not be afraid that people will say, ah, oh, Ananach. Or be quiet. But in your heart, no. What's happening to us, this is a Shem. This is what a Shem wants to be. And this is the way it has to be. Amen. 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 Thank you, Rabbi.